kind of sad, but many students reach chemistry having never used a Bunsen burner. This is why one of the first things we do in chemistry each semester is a simple lab that uses one. I generally take a bit of lab time to show students how to properly light the Bunsen burner, so I decided to make a video showing the proper method of lighting a Bunsen burner for anyone that wants to check it out. The first thing you will want to do is make sure your equipment is in proper working order. Take particular care to check the rubber tubing for cracks. If everything looks okay, attach one end of the rubber tube to the burner. You don't have to push it all the way on, just make sure it's secure and won't fall off. The other end of the tube should be attached to the gas valve on your workbench. Once again, it doesn't have to go all the way on, just far enough to be held securely. Make sure the gas is turned off at your station, both at the valve and on the burner itself. You can check this by turning the valve on the bottom all the way to the right. Once everything is set up properly, turn the valve about a half turn to the left to allow gas to flow through the burner. We use strikers to light Bunsen burners in our lab, but I know many places use matches, so we're going to show you both techniques. With the striker, you will need to turn the gas on first. You don't want the gas to be on all the way, but it does need to be on high enough for the burner to light. I find about three quarters of the way is about right. Hold your striker directly above the burner and squeeze. It might take you a little practice to get competent using the striker, but eventually you will get the hang of it. If you are using matches, you should light the match before turning the gas on. Then raise the match up to the gas and it should light instantly. Once you have your burner lit, you will want to adjust the flame before using it. There are different types of burners, but they all have a method for adjusting the amount of air that is allowed to mix with the fuel. You are looking for a flame that is not too orange and has an interior blue cone. If at any time the flame in your Bunsen burner goes out, immediately shut off the gas. You never want to try to relight the flame, it is always better and safer to start from the beginning. And that's all there is to it. Lighting a Bunsen burner is a skill well worth mastering. It is something you will have to perform many times in your chemistry classes, and being proficient at it will save you lots of time and aggravation in the future. Mm -hmm.